I know that Nyakariga starts from there this portion here but I will not explore this bit today I'll explore it another time So Nyakaviga is what we're exploring today and it is currently 4... I think it's like uh, it's about 4.50 p.m. in the evening. First time ever that I record a video this late into the day. But uh, the sun is uh, getting hotter every day. Especially in the mornings and I am trying to reduce the tan that I already got from the previous videos. So stay tuned, I will be right back after the entry clip. Don't go anywhere. So welcome back everyone. This is not so burned in here. And like I said, today we are exploring Nyakariga. I'm gonna start with a portion that um, I'm gonna start with this tarmac and then I'm gonna be heading left everything that's over to the left all the way to the other tarmac uh, the road that's uh, Université de uh, <laughs> Avenue de la Uni Université This one here, I forgot what the official name is, but the street name for this road is Avenue de la Mort. <laughs> the, uh, the road of death. Why? Well, I'll post it up in post-production once I confirm. But yeah, so we are exploring Nyakaviga today and uh, hopefully it won't, it won't be a clip that is too long. But, let's see how I do. This is one of those neighborhoods that is just super begging to be bought out. It wants people to buy it. <laughs> Hold on, and I don't even think I remember the... Uh, the road that leads inside. Could it be this one? Oh yeah, I think it is. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first street, which is this one here. Cha 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 cha. Damn. Now the first thing that you guys are going to notice are these street lights. Okay. Ooh. All of these uh, street lights were installed by one particular person. And I don't know who he is, but he is said to be a resident of Nyakariga, born and raised. And so, he decided to do a little something for home and raise poles. All right, there's the tarmac that I passed at a while ago. And there's the rest of the neighborhood that we're going to explore. So this is one of those neighborhoods that's just begging to be bought out. And it's a neighborhood that is in a very, very strategic place in the city. This is the one neighborhood that people should be looking forward to as far as uh, purchasing of land is concerned. 
I see Nyakaviga as a residential home. You know, like one of those uh, neighborhoods that have tall buildings, but for residential purposes. Okay, these, wow. <laughs> It is in a very strategic part of the city. Right in between the business center and the residential area. Okay, these, these water, the water drainage here is, uh, why does it cross the road though? But anyway. Hopefully I got the camera angle right. I would hate to repeat the same neighborhood again. And there's no need for me to turn as much left and right because there, there really is, isn't that much to see anyway. If I can finish the whole neighborhood in under 25 minutes, that would be awesome. Let's dive into the right again and check out some more. I am going to have a really hard time uh, editing the colors in this video with this orange of the sun that is popping. It's not easy editing the orange colors. Look at that ditch, you see how sharp that is? So, one thing that you guys don't know about me is that uh, my life basically begins in this neighborhood. And that is a long, long, long time ago. I'm talking about the, uh, hold on, I was born in the 20, was it the 20th century or the 21st? <laughs> hold on a minute, I think I was, hmm, the 1990s, was that the 20, that's the 20th, the 1990s were the 20th century, the end of the 20th century, or the beginning of the 21st, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I was born in the neighborhood, though I never got to live here too long. I think I, or rather the family left when I was uh, two, or yeah, probably one or two, not more than two, I don't think so. Look at this, look at this water drainage system that intersects the road. It's, mad let's take a peek into the right let's take a peek into the left and keep it moving and so i know a lot of you have been begging me to record visa and so i am delivering and hopefully i can do it all before 10th march or rather the dates were extended to 11th March by one day. Hopefully I can explore those three neighborhoods before the 11th. Ooh. So that's street number two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it's seven of them. Ooh. Ecole Bersal? Bercal? To my left, I believe, is uh, Javé, if I'm not mistaken. And to my, to my right is Javé, to my left is Nyakaviga. 
we have one more street to dive into. See, everybody's struggling with these little water drainage thingies. Like, what is that? Who came up with this idea? Let's continue on. Give a shout out in the comment section if you live in this area, or rather lived in this area, let me know. Because I know a lot of us, especially people in my age group, don't live in Burundi anymore, really. So leave a comment in the comment section if I am currently exploring your home neighborhood. If I had money, I wouldn't buy land anywhere else but here. The pavement is all laid out. It's just the plots that are waiting to be developed further. Hopefully I do not interrupt the game. Let me escape that. Every time I explore pavement, my wheel hub needs fixing after, you know, the ball joints. Um, okay, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So like I was saying earlier, if I was to buy land, I would buy it here. And I don't have the statistics with me and I don't think they exist, but I'm willing to bet that a lot of people here are willing to sell. And they are willing to sell for a price that could potentially be lower than the actual price of land because they are in need of that money. And the family wants to sell a piece of land that we own a part of here. My grandmother's uh, old house, make she rest in peace. The family is looking to sell it. And so that's an example. Patches like this could definitely go up for sale. Any one of these houses you see here for a fair price, people would be willing to sell. If I was to make an estimate, um, if somebody could get like a seven to a a ten a ten by eight meters or a ten by five meters square. Can go up, can be sold for um, Nyakaviga anywhere between 45 million and 75, 85 being the max. If you convert that into dollars, it's really nothing. You get a huge piece and develop a residential high-rise building. High-rise, I mean not too high, just 10 to 12 floors would be good to go. You would definitely get clients because this is the closest to the city as you can get. The closest to most major uh, schools and universities 
affordable rent would be anywhere between 250,000 Burundian francs and 350, 400, 400,000 Burundian francs being the max for two rooms, each self-contained, a bathroom, no, uh, rather two rooms self-contained, a sitting room joined to a dining area, small kitchen, a balcony, you're good to go. I believe I am halfway or 55% done. Just one more street that we get to dive into. Leave a comment in the comment section if you live here. We are family if you do. <laughs> I remember when I first came here in 2000 and uh, what was it? 2004 when we just came to visit for like a month from Kampala. And I had only spent about a year in Kampala. And so before that I was in Tanzania. Swahili here was super, super weird. <laughs> Okay. Mm, let me dive in here. I remember laughing every moment, every time I heard a local speak Swahili. And granted, they did understand me, just except. Uh, a few words of mine that I spoke were a little uh, unknown to them, but they did understand me for the most part. I lived in Tanzania for a huge chunk of my life, so my Swahili is a little different. Hold on. Let's cross the road. And dive into yet another street over here. All of that could potentially be bought out. No, not potentially. It can be bought out. Everything you see here, if you put up a good price, you can take all of this. Whoa. Kind of feels like I popped a wheel. I don't know. houses if you ask me the way that this neighborhood was paved was super strategic <laughs> as far as uh, politics is concerned but yeah I get it though it's understandable it makes sense it's a hotel, wherever it's cold. <sighs> so this is third, the third, this is third March, I think. Yeah, we've got uh, eight days to go before they kick us out of this area. And my thing is, how is a person living here supposed to get into town? So basically, if you own a bicycle and you live in the area, you're going to have to park it. If you own a scooter, you can drive it. I don't know, man. We'll see how everything... Oh, this guy's super drunk. 
super, super drunk. <laughs> the bar starting off early. It's the middle of the week. Tell me you're not Burundian without telling me you're not Burundian. Without telling me you're Burundian. Drinking as early on as Wednesday. <laughs> That's how you know you're in Burundi. But anyway, alcohol doesn't affect the way we function, man. It's just, it's a way of life at this point. I gave up trying to understand it. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a huge chunk of drivers on the road drive with alcohol in their system. Family members I know drive after two bottles, three bottles of beer. Big deal. And that's a thing. When the police stops you on the road, they will check you for everything else except the alcohol in your system. <sighs> Forgive me if I don't turn as much left and right, but like I said earlier, there isn't that much to see. Almost done, let's dive in here. Okay, this, uh, this pavement is a little unforgiving. I'm gonna have to tighten up a few screws when I get home because whoa that's hard speaking of tighten up ti speaking of tightening up a few screws that reminds me I have a PayPal account and I will link <laughs> I'll give the link in the uh, description of the video for those of you that want to support the channel in any way Because I am seriously shaking my bike up crazy right now. Let's dive in here. It's a car wash. It's a little bar. Like seriously, I'm gonna have to do some serious maintenance when I'm done here. I should be using a mountain bike for roads like this. I wouldn't suffer as much on a mountain bike, especially if I deflate it just a little bit. It would absorb. 60% of the vibrations But what can I do? Whoa, is that a scrambler? Who came up with that contraption? I wish you guys could see Nyakabiga at night The way it lights up To the person that put up these street lights You are the GOAT if anybody knows him, tag him in this video. Let him know Nyakabiga appreciates you greatly. It's a church being developed here, I believe. Oh, the Christian faith. Hope I didn't raise any red flags with that comment. I'm a Christian too. But yeah, well, uh-huh. Uh, 
the upper part of Nyakabiga will record some other day. For now, we are solely going to deal with the part on the right. One more street to dive into and keep it moving. Now I hope the sunshine, the sun isn't too hard on the uh, on the lens. I hope you guys can see ahead. If I had uh, special ND filters, then this wouldn't be a problem. But it's nothing that I can't correct in post editing. So. There it goes. Let's dive in here. Oh. This is home right here. Somebody thought of something and erected a nice building. These look like apartments. Where is home? I don't even recognize it anymore. I think they built a wall or something. Ah, that's the old house right there. The house that is causing so much conflict <laughs> among the siblings that were left to inherit it. That's all I'm going to say about that though. I don't want to get in trouble with the family. So we're almost reaching the climax of Nyakabiga. Let's just dive in here. This has got to be the widest road in this neighborhood. Why on earth is it this wide though? It's super wide. It's got me thinking that it should have been tarmac. telling you this is the area to buy land from I'm talking property developments that are worth $500,000 and above Four stories, six stories, up to 10 max. A building with about 10 to eight apartments or more would definitely make you some good money depending on how you construct it. So I think we have two more streets to go. We have one more right here. And then I'm going to call it a day. Let's take a peek left and right. Continue on. Another building that looks like it may or may not be apartments. Who knows? But most likely they look like apartments and I'm pretty sure they are all rented out. 
as long as they're not greedy on the on the uh, on the rent. Like that building that we just passed, my guess would be 350 grand to 400. Five hundred thousand a month max, no more. Let's dive in here. Here comes another apartment cl apartment complex. I know who's developing the person that's uh, responsible for developing this particular building but I'm not going to mention them because they are high profile and I don't want to draw that kind of attention to myself but that is one hell of a good idea they got the vision and they are on the right path ah oh, that orange sun this is really good it gives good vibes you know So here we go. I believe that's the end. Yes, it is. Hopefully, I didn't do more than 30 minutes. Something tells me I'm, I am somewhere between the 35. I'm in between 30 and uh, 35 minutes. Let's dive in here and close the circle. Or the rectangle rather. Or square, I don't know. Oh, that's the apartment building. That's the kind of developments that I'm talking about. And then you put in these, uh, build like a local market, you know, build a school, everything in here. And you have a neighborhood that is self-dependent. The only people leaving would be the people going out for work. And so that's it for Nyakabiga guys. That's all I have to show. On the left side, if I'm not mistaken, that's not Nyakabiga anymore. That's Jave. We've already seen all of that. Let me close the circle and call it a day so until next time guys this is not so burned in here i will be seeing you guys around in the next video ciao i'm gonna go all the way to canindo and enjoy a ride a little more because i want to warm up my body it's been two days since my last ride and i ride i only do a one day gap between my rides and this time around i did two days and so i don't know i just i don't feel right you know so i'm gonna make a u-turn right here and head on into the uh, city center Just uh, one last peek into the areas that we've already covered. We've seen that. Pretty sure the mosque is somewhere in the footage. We've seen all of that. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. And to all my current subscribers, thank you guys. Wouldn't have gotten here without you. And that's the last street on this tarmac that we've already covered. So, until next time guys. Peace out. 
And up ahead, way over there, beyond that flag, is Kigobe. Hi, guys. Bye.